Howdy fellow tube ubers. Today's video is just about some uh, random books I have on television shows or um, movies. Just some uh, really cool books that I just kind of want to show everybody. Uh, first, for the show The Prisoner, this is basically an episode guide loaded with all kinds of cool stuff, lots of neat facts, lots of cool pictures. Really neat stuff right there. If you've never seen that show, check it out. Patrick McGuhan, really fun show. Didn't last as long as it should have, but it was still really good. Um, <clears throat> another great British show, The Avengers. This is a little kind of a pocket program guide right there. You get a couple little pictures in there. But yeah, you get all the different episodes and whatnot. Tells different stuff about it. And basically the same type of thing. Uh, the Complete Avengers. Obviously not a pocketbook. But uh, pretty cool stuff. <clears throat> I have some more pictures. Brief descriptions of the episodes. And there tells you all the actors that were in it. Directed by... So, pretty fun little stuff there. More cool pictures in there. Love the Avengers. Great show. Probably one of my all-time favorite shows. Really cool. Another really good show. <clears throat> this is the Twilight Zone Companion. This is in, an indispensable guide, if you like the show. It gives you uh, episodes... Tells you their air date, the writer, producer, director, gives you a brief synopsis of what's going on in the thing, and it also has some other little interesting facts and stuff. But uh, yeah, lots of cool pictures. Pretty much covers the entire show. <clears throat> Even gives a little introduction about Rod Serling. Great stuff. One of my favorite directors, Hitchcock. This is his piece by piece book. Really, really, really good stuff in here. You get um, the birth of a filmmaker. You get his Men and Antiheroes chapter. The Hitchcock Women. The Hitchcock Touch. You get a filmography. You get his bibliography. You get uh, Psychos and Frenzies, which is about the villains in the Hitchcock films. Uh, you get a lot of other stuff, too. A lot of bonus material that comes in here. <clears throat> Behind... Uh, like right here, under these things, or in, I should say inside these things, these are all folders right there. And there's all kinds of more little goodies inside there. You know, production notes and production notes and things like that. Get some really cool pictures in here. Really nice stuff. It's a really, really fun book. Really, really good book. Great read, especially if you like Hitchcock. Really good stuff. These ones here, these are, uh, which I have a few of these, X-Files, right here. These are uh, the official guides. This is, um, I'm not sure what season this covers. Season 1, Season 2, and Season 3, and this one here. And then you have... Uh, what is this one? I have another one here. The official third season. The full complete third season with some color pictures in there. Cool stuff. And of course, gives a synopsis of all the episodes. If you've never seen The X-Files, do yourself a favor. Watch it. And I uh, have three more books on there. Volume 4. Volume 3, Volume 5, Volume 6, blah, blah, blah. There's all kinds right there. The complete cast list and credit list, lists, air dates, Nielsen ratings, an international X-Files viewer's guide, fold-out posters. You get all kinds of stuff right here. I love these books. I love, if I like a show... Yeah, see, this is Volume 3, but it covers Season 4. It gives you all the different 
episodes right there of what they were. Some really good episodes there. Tempest Fugit, Memento Mori, Leonard Betts. Great stuff. <clears throat> I forgot what I was saying before that, so I'll just continue on. This right here, the Amazing Colossal Episode Guide. Mystery Science Theater 3000. Really cool stuff. Once again, gives you a brief description of everything. Gives you cool little quotes and facts and interesting things. Talks all the different seasons. Talks about the early parts of the show with some early pictures. Wisecracks and all kinds of stuff in there. Uh, this is a really good book here. I'm not sure if they update this or not. This is, uh, I think, went out in like this, like 2002 or something is the last this was. That's the Hollowell's Film Goer's Companion. You have quotes from actors, directors, critics. You have a complete list of Academy Award winners, winners of all the major film festivals around the world. Uh, brief year-by-year, country-by-country history of films. Um, you get... American, British, European, directors, producers, writers, personal data, complete filmographies for many actors, hundreds of entries on fictional characters and popular film themes. And I mean, you just think of an actor you want to look at, and uh, you just kind of flip through it, and you're like, okay, Francis Ford Coppola, born in 1939, American writer-director of overweening ambition who began working for Roger Corman, and then it gives you, like, his dementia... Dementia, movie from 63, the property is condemned, he was the writer, is Paris Burning, he was the writer. So it just kind of gives you information that you need. Really indispensable if you want to learn some stuff about actors and not have to go online and look around. <clears throat> the official Batman Bat Book. Really, really cool. This is one show I wish they would do a complete box set of all the episodes, but uh... There's just so much crap going on behind the scenes of this show between studios and stuff that I don't know if it's ever going to happen. But it gives you all the episodes as expected in this type of book. Really cool. Little fun, fun facts and everything else like their bat facts. Special bat equipment used in that episode. Bat talk. Really great stuff. This book here, I'm not sure how new this one is. I know it's a pretty good chunk old. But the uh, 20th anniversary edition completely revised and updated the complete directory to primetime network and cable TV shows from 1946 to the present. Which, like I said, uh, it's probably six, seven years old. But uh, you just think of a show and uh, you look it up. I like flipping through this, finding shows that lasted like, they might have had like a month run. Last like a month. But uh, lots and lots of cool stuff in here. It's all, of course, alphabetical, so you know the show. You look it up. Oh, here's a show here. It's called On the Road with Charles Kuralt. Its first telecast was June 26, 1983. Its last telecast was August 23, 1983. So it lasted a couple months. So that's really, really cool. Find some neat shows like that. <clears throat> the Laurel and Hardy Encyclopedia. Um... Every single Laurel and Hardy film, biographical information, um, their solo careers, stage, radio, television appearances, rare publicity stills, promotional artwork, 600 entries, 250, 250 different illustrations in here. Really, really cool. I love Laurel and Hardy. Just great, fun slapstick type comedy. This is a great picture. Look at that. That's awesome. And then by the same guy, Glenn Mitchell, I have the uh, Marx Brothers Encyclopedia. Right there. Really cool. Once again, it covers everything they've done. Chico, Harpo, Groucho, Zeppo, Gummo, and Manfred. Uh, A to Z, Night at the Opera's in here, Duck Soup, Coconuts, pretty much anything and everything you could want to know. Right there. Really cool stuff. I love these types of books. If I love a movie or a show or something like that, I like to have a book on it. It just uh, helps expand 
everything. I like having like the Hall of Wells and the Primetime Guide. It just helps me discover new shows. If I can't think of an actor off the top of my head, I can kind of flip through it and find it. So I really like those books. I think they're indispensable if you're a fan of movies or television or something. I think they're definitely worth having. So that's the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Comment. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care.